Hi friends, Andy Brooks here with another review. We've got set 7315 from 2001 was the year of release. Um, this came with 242 pieces and it is called the Solar Explorer and it was in the theme Life on Mars. Um, I first saw a picture of this in a book, that, um, a Lego book I'd brought, and um, I was so impressed with this um, solar panel piece in here. Um, as soon as I found one on Trade Me here in New Zealand, I um, I brought it as second hand, as you can see, some of the bricks are yellowed. Uh, I did treat it to... <clears throat> Excuse me. Did treat it to some peroxide, but um, some bits came out better than others. I think my peroxide was getting a little bit tired, so some bits need to be redone again this summer. And um, yeah, let's get into it. I did get the instructions with this one, and this is what they look like. Let's just move our Solar Explorer for a second. So, um, let me just move it up a bit. Hmm, not having much luck with getting it all on the screen. So, yeah. There we have it. Um, it shows you a couple of little things that you can deploy. Oh, he's running aground there. Gosh. It's not how you look after your shuttle. Uh, see the top wings closed as well. I thought they were supposed to be open. I must have a look at that. Um, really interesting inside opens the page that falls out which looks like a few of them do so let's get the back it's um this greeny background like mars i suppose green martians but then they've got these little bits of red every now and again um been a red planet. Oh, there at, at the back they they show you it um, spread out slightly further, but yeah, you put it where you like. And um, thirteen. Oh no, sixteen. What's going on there? I'm not sure. Why did it say thirteen? Hang on. Oh, I see. It's a side build. There's a few side builds and um, 13 sort of builds because <laughs> it says 16 here and then 13 there. So there was 16 builds to 16 steps to create that piece and 13 to create the whole thing. <laughs> if you understand that, um, let's have a quick look. Um, this is quite cool. Now, I didn't realise this was in here. I, it's been so long since I um, looked at this. And um, it may have even came built, so I didn't get to, I didn't put it to bits. But um, the two sets I have, these here, um, you can do, you can turn, do that one with it which is quite cool or there's um this little mecky thing over here mecky um i did learn that on uh, the back page just shows you the big set and um 
they do a couple of mechs obviously this is the blue one that I've got and um, then they show you combining that set with gosh light shining everywhere but where you want it that little set there combined to make that thing there let's get rid of this and on the back it shows you um, every set hang on I'll get a good one just in case someone wants to uh, pause on it I'm not sure if uh, this far out as, as it goes yeah, that's enough of that so, this, uh, let's um, deal with the minifigures because they are the cutest. And uh, part of the reason why I brought this set, we'll deal with, there's three minifigures, two pilot it, so we'll, um, we'll just get them out of the way first. Um, for 2001, this, um, these minifigures are really in good nick and um, really tight. Um, the arms are stiff on it and um, it's a little bit hard to get that blue chrome in there. Um, but yeah, it's just a fantastic piece. Yeah, but but hard to see it. But yeah, absolutely neat. And here's our minifig. His name is Mac. Very cool. Nothing on the back. It's a little bit hard to do this, but see this. Um, the, the beauty of this chrome piece, blue chrome, it's just fantastic. And our second pilot, he actually is the front of the he, he pilots it possibly because he's at the very front and the other guy might not be. Oh, well, this one's not as flash as my last one. Looks like someone's had it, had him in, his, in their mouth. His legs all chewed up. But um, luckily the chrome part is in pristine condition. And uh, yeah, once again, very hard to... Get a good shot of it. And um, this chap's name is BB. And um, has a little bit of hair on him. And a very interesting face for uh, Lego. Those eyes are quite, quite a distance apart. And nothing on his back. Just put our pilots over there. Um, put this back together quickly and then I'll show you inside the cockpit. So, so we have um, this cockpit piece uh, which was also on the first Millennium Falcon um, Lego made, which um, Tickles me a little bit because uh, I don't have that set and I'd love it, but yeah, it's interesting to see see the cockpit piece. Um, it has got a print on it, um, which was printed in two halves. You can see where they've sort of not quite got it on the line there, lined it up quite right. But um, 
I thought this was a very interesting um, tile. Now this, these sets came out at, at the same time and could have been in conjunction with um, NASA were first doing exploration on um, Mars. Uh, you got a gun that's just clipped on the side there and um, I guess this is um, supposed to be engine detail at the back. I'm not really sure. I, I guess it is. Um, it's a tile in there. I'm not sure what it means. There's one on either side. Let's just put those together so we can see it better. And the glasses aren't working quite as well as they should. And um, sort of duplicates itself. Oh, there's an aerial on this side. This side um, looks like it's got a. I don't know if it's a weapon or um, exploration stuff because this is actually. It's, it says if you look it up in um, Brickpedia that um, this set. Well, not this set. This um, wave, Life on Mars, was um, the first time they'd ever done something where um, the humans weren't fighting the Martians and they were um, working together um, even though the, the um, some of those sets on the back of the instructions big mechs with lots of gunnage none of it was ever used against the humans so that was nice of them now there's a couple of pieces in here so I'm just going to pull it to bits a little bit to um, show you those the seat separator has dropped out sorry but um, let's see if we can get a good look at at that can we see it all right people I'm not sure when these might need some stronger glasses. And then there's um, this piece in here, which um, is quite shiny and a little bit hard to to make out what it actually is. Um, I can't say I've worked it out. And um, th this whole thing deploys, you know, like you saw on the back of the the box. Oh, sorry, the back of the instructions or, or somewhere there. I don't think it actually showed us anywhere. But you can um, make this short and leave your um, station on the ground, your solar and, um, you know, go and do some reconnaissance on the other side of the planet if you have to, or um, pop out to the dairy for some milk. Because you just can't drink your cup of tea without some milk. Well, that's, that's what they, that's their problem. Under here, oh, actually, let's just deploy the little bit at the back first. Now, see, some of these bricks are so white still. Like, like, look at those, they look like they're brand new. And other ones have um, yellowed. Oh, for sure, these are hidden away, of course. But even that dome bit, look how white that is. And, yeah. So this is, um, uh, there, I couldn't find a description for this set, but I guess this is some sort of communication um tower which they um, deploy on the um, the Martian planet um, having that um, sort of you know radar stuff underneath type dish thing thing and under here is um, 
so cool. I thought this was so neat when I found this because um, I was a boy growing up in the um, 78, um, I got my first Lego set and um, we never had anything like half the bricks that were in this set and um, man, they've just uh, gone so much further from from here, but yeah, this, this just tickled me so much because we just didn't have, oh, you've got to bring up the rock, if you can smell what the rock's cooking. Yes. Anyhow, um, let's just have a quick look at our man. He's quite cool. His name is Doctor. No, sorry, just Doc. Put put him on a little bit of clear plastic so I can get my hands out of the picture. But um, very cool. No back printing for these days. Lovely. Um, there's that colour again. Chrome. Chrome blue. And, um, and under there we've got that face. Which looks like it might be a little, little bit misprinted. But yeah. Not sure I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing. But yeah, he um before I put him back in his buggy, I'll um just quickly show you this. So there's just that uh, little printed piece down there for some control panels. Um oh look at those bite marks. Some kids love this. Now I remember pulling heads off of minifigures with my teeth when, you know, I was a kid. And they just stuck so well and, uh, yeah. Didn't have brick separators like you lucky kids today. Now, um, let's just put, put him back in his boogie. And, um... I thought this was very interesting. Now, we all know this rock piece. But if you can get your nail in there. When you pull it, when it comes to bits, we've got this little piece in here, which I thought was absolutely amazing. And I hadn't seen this ever before. And thought, wow, that's freaky. And I have to say, I've never seen it since. And, um, it's just the oddest little brick. And they've just got a, a green, a green cylinder in there. Doesn't seem to, how's it, oh there we go, I just haven't pushed it on properly going to say it's clutch is lost but um yeah fantastic uh, I, I just um goof over bricks that i haven't seen before especially when they're uniquely made like this and it's like what the heck else would they use that for and uh yeah never seen it before myself never seen it before or since so yeah interesting um Interesting piece, and um, we'll say Lego in there somewhere, but um, who knows? But yeah, interesting. So, yes, there we have it the Solar Explorer from Life on Mars, a very neat little set. Um, not sure what I paid for it, but, um, cute, and I just love space and ships, spaceships, so, um, th this was a must for me, so, 
just put them back together. It just clips. I'm not sure if I showed you when I um, it just goes on to those two clips there. It snaps in tightly. You um, bring that down once he's snapped in there, and you close them up, put them to bed for the night. That clips a little bit. I think, uh, I'm not sure if they still make that clip at all, but yeah, you can just sort of give it, give it a bit of a squeeze together without breaking it, and um, just make it a little bit tighter. But I actually lost an aerial, that aerial one, had to rob it off of my um, rocket launch um, set, which was. Um, a, Earth Defense one, I think. I can't remember what the theme name was, but I will be reviewing that one. Um, yeah, I can't remember what it was called. Something Explorer. No, that doesn't sound right. I'm guessing. Don't guess. So, yeah, that was cool. I liked, um, I liked that, and, uh, yeah, I would have just loved this as a child, you know. I would have um, flown this all over the show. It's um, such a neat ship. And, uh, yeah. Would have been very happy to own this as a child. I'm happy to own it as an adult. But yeah, just imagine the joy I could have had as a child with it. Space on. So yeah, hope you like that one. Um, set 7315, Life on Mars, Solar Explorer. Uh, sorry, let's get back to a better picture. And uh, yeah, very cool. Well, I think so. Um, hit that thumbs up button. Go and give us a like. Comment. Subscribe. And um, keep watching. And uh, I'll be doing some um, other reviews. I should have pulled these off, actually, and shown you quickly. But it's just, it's just our standard fear gun that sort of came out at the start of the 80s. Um, still used today. Um, it was one in a superhero set not so long ago. And actually, there's one in a set this year, nine, 2018, in the um, Arctic Explorer. So, can be um, it could be either a weapon or um, some sort of survey device. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, yeah. See you next time. Peace out. Bye.